Let's bring in retired Major General Dennis Thompson, a former NATO Task Force Kandahar Commander. Thank you so much for taking the time. First off, I just wanted to get your reaction to these reports that we're hearing of Russian missiles crossing over into Poland. Well, I think you have it absolutely right. We need to be careful. First reports are often inaccurate, and this does need to have a, a full investigation, an investigation which should confirm what the point of origin of the missile was or missiles. And that's something that uh, military experts can typically do in, in rather rapid fashion. Once you know where the point of origin is, you can assign uh, responsibility, if you will. And of course, they can examine the remains of the missile on the ground. Uh, that's important before we start pointing fingers and uh, and invoking articles four or five. Uh, so I think prudence is the word right now, and that an investigation, a full investigation, which won't take long, is something that needs to be done before anybody anybody jumps to any uh, rash conclusions. What does it tell you, though, that Polish officials are talking about Article Four at this stage? Well, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody that Article 4 has already been invoked. In fact, it was invoked by the Eastern European states uh, in 2014 when Russia invaded Crimea. And now it's been and it was re-invoked by the Eastern European states in 2022 in order uh, to get the support that the Eastern European states have got and in order to uh, organize the flow of materiel into Ukraine. It involves Canada, and the minister quite rightly pointed out we're, we're quite concerned. We have 700 uh, soldiers assigned to the Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group in Latvia, who were one of the member states that in, in, uh, invoked Article 4 the last time around. That number is, uh, is growing towards 1,000, and eventually, based on the NATO summit in late June, we'll hit about 1,500 Canadian soldiers. We have skin in the game, as the expression goes, and we need to keep a close eye on this uh, conflict. But again, there's no need to rush just yet. And uh, I think the fact that it's Article 4 that people are looking for means that they're probably going to ask for more air defense and other defensive measures to make sure that these errant Russian rockets, because if it is a Russian rocket, it'll no doubt prove to be uh, as a result of incompetence rather than direct targeting. Major General, is that the reason why everybody is being so cautious here? Because of the weight that this could carry? That even if it, if it wasn't an errant uh, missile, that this is possibly an Article 5? Is that why everyone is A, being so careful, but B, really sort of making sure that we can get to a place that potentially we can have this, I don't want to call it an excuse, but almost an out? Uh, because a NATO uh, you know, attack on one and an attack being on all, I mean, that triggers a major response. Right. Yeah, but there's a big difference between a farm, and, and I, I, <laughs> I'm not uh, playing down the loss of life here. There's a big difference between a farm being taken out and, and some two, two innocent civilians dying and deliberately targeting a Polish or NATO military target. And so that's the nuance that has to be played here. And again, it goes back to the fact that we need to get the investigation done, determine who's responsible, and then move move on from there. Uh, I suspect that even if it's the worst case scenario, a deliberate Russian attack on a on a Polish farm, that it'll it won't get beyond this because it's not really in anyone's interest to escalate the war beyond where it is now. But there certainly would be a case to augment the level of air defense and other materiel being provided to Ukraine. Major General Dennis Thompson, thank you so much for speaking with us tonight and providing this expertise. We really appreciate that.